Chicken salad, like barbecue, fried chicken, and sweet tea, is one of the South's main food groups. And thanks to a company born in Auburn, Alabama, its popularity is spreading beyond the SEC. But as Melissa Bowman tells us, it's not just this restaurant's signature dish customers respond to, it's also the Southern hospitality. Southerners understand that food can be magical. One taste of a simple dish like chicken salad has the power to evoke memories of things close to our heart, like family. I have literally watched someone take a bite, close their eyes, and a tear run down their cheek. And she said, this is my grandmother. That reaction is why Chicken Salad Chick is a sanctuary for fans of all things chicken salad. Offering up to 14 flavors, they've got nearly every grandmother's recipe covered. We have a sweet and salty, we have savory, we have very traditional things, we have spicy. We like to cover the gamut of all things for all people that love chicken salad. With so many loyal customers, it's hard to believe the chick behind it all, Stacy Brown, struggled to get where she is. After a divorce, the mother of three wanted a way to support her family from home. Was her lifelong love of chicken salad the answer? I thought, you know, I'm a, I'm a pretty good cook. And if there are other people out there that feel about chicken salad like I do, maybe this is something I could do from home. Armed with four flavors, she began door-to-door -door deliveries. It was working. Then the health department called. It was illegal to operate her business from home. So she and Kevin Brown, her business partner and later husband, decided to open a restaurant. Neither one of us had ever been in the restaurant industry before. We had no clue what we were doing. It was trial by error. But on opening day, it was obvious within mere hours they had a hit on their hands. People lined up down the sidewalk and we sold out of everything we cooked in two hours on the first day. To those first customers, it was simple. A restaurant dedicated to chicken salad was a concept long overdue. Today's growing number of customers seem to agree. It's a simple food that we all like and it just makes sense and there's enough variety. The variety is a plus, but part of the fun is also how you order. What's in a name? Most people would call this traditional Southern staple simply chicken salad, but not here. Each custom blend is named after a woman in Stacy's life who's inspired her. So this is more than a meal. It's also a tribute to a great lady. There are names like Jalapeno Holly, Nutty Nana, Fancy Nancy, Fruity Fran, that all represent women that shaped who I am today. But what about men? A chick-centric concept might have initially scared some, but today plenty of men count themselves among customers. Now proudly we have all walks of life, all men and women come in and say they want the fancy Nancy, and they say it proudly. Making everyone feel welcome is another reason customers say they come. Fun, lighthearted decor surrounds a cozy atmosphere meant to feel like home. The Chick's always such a happy, upbeat place. Everybody here is always in a good mood, very friendly, nice, and willing to help out. So the customers really enjoy the environment as well as the food. Customers also love supporting a restaurant that gives back. Sadly, Kevin Brown passed away from cancer in 2015, but before he died, he and Stacy created the Chicken Salad Chick Foundation. Although he didn't live to see it, his idea for a concert called Music and Miracles came to fruition and raised much needed funds for cancer research. It was because of that concert that we were able to put a check for $200,000 into the hands of a scientist. Today, all franchisees support the foundation by raising funds to fight cancer and feed the hungry in their communities. That's a big impact with now 114 restaurants in 13 states, some beyond the South. No matter how big it gets, Stacy's goal remains the same. Our purpose at Chicken Salad Chick is to spread joy, enrich lives, and serve others. That is truly what we do every day. And it's such a joy to bring that to a community. For Simply Southern, I'm Melissa Bowman. Stacy said she still loves chicken salad as much today as when she started the business. But don't ask her to choose a favorite. She said that's as hard as trying to pick your favorite child. But if you're up to the task, find your favorite at one of the chicken salad chick locations across the Southeast. Up next on Simply Southern, teachers take a field trip to help them prepare for lessons they'll teach next term. Wear long pants, long sleeve shirts, 
and closed-toed shoes. Don't be ticked. Use repellents with 20% DEET on skin and 0.5% permethrin on gear and clothing. Don't be ticked. Avoid sitting on rotten logs or stumps. Don't be ticked. Protect yourself from serious tick-borne illnesses and seek timely treatment to prevent long-term problems. No hunters were angered in the making of this film. And now, an Alabama tourism spotlight from Sweet Home, Alabama. Covered bridges harken to days gone by, before automobiles and interstates became the preferred mode of transportation. It's estimated fewer than 1,000 authentic covered bridges remain in the United States. A baker's dozen of these structures can be found off the beaten path in rural parts of Alabama. Sumter, Calhoun, DeKalb, Talladega, and Cullman counties all have one. But Blunt County is considered Alabama's covered bridge capital. Blunt County's three covered bridges, the Easley, Horton Mill, and Swan, are all open to the public. For your next adventure, go online to alabama.travel. Support healthy food from local farmers by purchasing a Farming Feeds Alabama license plate. The TAG funds education and promotion efforts, including Ag in the Classroom, Agricultural Scholarships, and Youth Programs. Get your Ag Tag today. We've been raising fish for 33 years. Our farm and the catfish farms in Hale County, in this area, have had a huge impact on the labor, offering jobs. It's been a big economic boom for West Alabama. Our family is fully invested in U.S. farm-raised catfish.